Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday. So hard to keep track of days when Devin works a lot of overtime. So because the days just all blend together. Anyways, mess in the background. <laughs> Lots of laundry. I just started leaving June's clothes hanging there because it's just easier to than going all the way to the closet. <laughs> Anyways. No one cares, no one really cares. Anyways, I wanted to hop on here and show you guys just some things I was working on today. I did some sewing today and also some crocheting. I've been working on my um, Halloween countdown calendar thingy. <laughs> and I got a lot of work out done on it today. Let me find my the stitch markers where it was last time I showed it to you guys. It's curling a little. I plan on lining the back of it so it lays flat. So I did that many more rows today and I finished the, the door. See now it's purple up here. So now I gotta do like 20 something rows. Really it's 40 something, cause there's like a bobble row and then a single crochet row. But I'm only counting the bobble rows. So this is 10 rows, even though it's technically 20. <laughs> but you know, whatever. Um, I do like 20 something bobble rows of just the gray with a bunch of purple and then gray and then back and forth, back and forth to where the, the roof starts of the house and then the moon and all that stuff. So I did, I, have to, I, mean, I think I'm going to stop and weave in my ends because I got quite a few hanging down there from where my bobbins uh, ran out and then they met right here. So I got a new purple bobbin that's bigger. So I'll have just the three for a little while. And so I'm going to go ahead and weave in all my ends and um, work on it. I actually like the way the back of this looks. It looks kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of like the waffle stitch or something. I like it. But yeah, this is a paid for pattern. I'll link it below. I think it's by the left-handed crocheter, I believe. Um, I've had it in my um, library forever and I've been wanting to make it and I just finally decided to do it this year but uh, I'm super excited I can't wait to get it done it's getting there this is there's 50 bobble rows so I'm a fifth of the way done with the base and then I gotta make all the pockets and there's a couple appliques and then I'm gonna line it with fabric because it's easier than making another panel um, and then figure out how to hang it <laughs> so I got a couple months to work on that but I just wanted to share that with you because I, I worked on a lot today. And then I did work on some bags too. I'm hoping to get these bags in the shop Wednesday or Thursday this week. Uh, you guys have already seen the strawberry one. So this one will be in the shop whenever. So these ones I have drawstrings on them yet. But I made this lemon one. These are out of my scrap material so they're different sizes. So that's just a drawstring bag. And this cute little floral one. These ones, this one has a box spot on I think all of them do except one. And again, they're just random sizes because um, I was just using leftover fabric. And there's an orange one and it's got a box bottom. And this little orange one is a little bag and it doesn't have a box bottom because it's already so small. But it'd be good for a little project. And then I made four Notion pouches today just out of leftover fabric again. These are already pre-cut and they had like got stuffed in the back of my shelf. So I found them the other day when I was digging around. <laughs> so I went ahead and just whipped them out today. And then I started, I quilted yesterday the bigger bags, and today I put in the zippers and did top stitching almost all of them. I still gotta do top stitching on four, but this is the bag roughly. It's nowhere's near done. <laughs> but there'll be this one coming up. I gotta do top stitching, close it, box the bottom, and put a handle and the tag on there. <laughs> so I still got work to do tomorrow. And there's this one. These are all zipper bags. And there's this rose, rose gold one, gold rose one, I guess. And then there's this uh, native animal one. This one's pretty big. These are the bigger ones. And then these ones down here. Oh, I already did the top stitching on these ones. So they're ready to be closed. That's why the zippers are open. Uh, oranges. This is another bigger one. I'm trying to keep them folded the way I like to keep them. So I know what step they're on. This one is the barbecue print. <laughs> this is what bags look like before they become bags. And then there's this one of these cute little, like hiking, fishing animals. <laughs> Again, they're all different sizes. The sizes will be on the listings. And there's this bird one, it's upside down, but you get the gist. <laughs> These will have boxed bottoms, handles, and labels this beta fish one it's that size <laughs> and then the coffee print 
and this is like a this is smaller than a project bag but bigger than my normal notions pouches because that's like the normal notion pouch so it's it could be a small project bag like for a hat or something or a bigger notions pouch <laughs> and then the last one is teacups <laughs> So these are bags that I'm hope, hoping to finish tomorrow. All I gotta do is, like I said, these four are here on the table. You can't see that, but I'm pointing at them. <laughs> I need to do top stitching on. And then all of them, I need to close them, which is just sew around the whole thing. And then uh, box the bottoms of the outer part and the liners. And then when I'm closing them, I gotta remember to put the labels in, because sometimes I forget that. <laughs> and uh, the handles, which I have a big roll right here. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully, Devin's off tomorrow, so I should be able to get them done. And then I'll put out a video. If I get them done tomorrow, tomorrow evening sometime, I'll put out a video showing the done bags <laughs> and telling you when they're going to be up, which I'm hoping Wednesday evening is when I can get these ones up. And these are all my my scrap bags. They're the leftover fabrics from other shop updates. And then the next shop update is going to be tote bags. Um, and then I'll get around to that new fabric that's still stuck. I don't have anywhere to stick it in my fabric stash but yeah so um i just wanted to hop on here and share that with you <laughs> I, mean, I like these little bags that are this they'll be boxed bottoms so they'll be a little bit shorter than they're cut because the box bottom will you know it'll fold so it'll take up that so it'll be you know medium sized project bags and some of them will be smaller but uh yeah there's still four drawstring bags in the shop so those ones are there and then i'll add these little drawstring bags the notions and all these zipper project bags and then I'll be ready to start working on the next <laughs> shop update which I already have laying on my table I just need to start cutting and all that I do have to buy some more batting I get some more zippers soon because I'm running low and drawstrings because I'm running low on drawstrings <laughs> but uh, I'll do all that maybe this come weekend because I gotta go shopping for some fabric there's two people that I want to make bags for as a gift uh, and there's one person who, well, I guess it's a gift too, but they need a specific type of bag. Um, not just a project bag, it's like a different type of bag. But anyway, so I guess there's three bags <laughs> that I want to make as gifts. So I want, I need to go pick out fabric for those people that, you know, are for those people. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'm going to, June's napping right now and Jesse's playing a game. You, could, you maybe could hear him in the background. <laughs> but, um. I just got done cleaning up the kitchen and I thought I'd come here and record real quick while she was snoozing. And I wanted to show you my Halloween thing. I need to work on my sweater. All I gotta do is make the sleeves. I just, like, I, I started working on this and now I really like working on this, so I'm, I've been working on it. I wanna weave in the ends. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen ends. So I need to weave them in now. <laughs> That's just because I made smaller bobbins because I wasn't sure how much I needed. Like like the black right there. I ran out of its bobbin with just three stitches to go. Right here. I only had those three stitches right there left. So I had to add just more yarn for that. <laughs> That's annoying. But I made these ones on the sides bigger because I knew it would be going all the way up. And now the purple that I made today is going to be a big chunk. So I made it bigger too. But anyways, yeah. I thought this was going to be kind of annoying to work on, but I actually really enjoy it. I usually only get a couple of rows in at a time, but um, today I got in a lot because June's been napping a lot. I think she's she's definitely teething, but she hasn't got any like bumps yet on her teeth or gums. But she's definitely gnawing on everything and drooling like crazy. And her nose is running a lot. <laughs> so I moved my little stitch marker from down there up. So next time I show it to you, that'll be the progress. <laughs> I think I'm on roll 11. Puff stitch roll 11. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. So, in there. Pretty excited. Can't wait to get that done. Um, and line it. I'll probably line it with just a solid color fabric. Because, you know, no one will be seeing it. Um, and that should help it lay flat against the wall. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and get this edited real quick. It's kind of late today. My, I don't have my glasses on. June actually grabbed them off my face earlier. So they're covered in her little fingerprints and spit because she grabbed them and then immediately stuck them in her mouth. And I haven't cleaned them yet. So I'm just kind of blind. <laughs> but uh, I think it's almost 6.30. <laughs> but I'm going to get this up and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. I think my knit crate is at the post office. So if I pick that up tomorrow, I will share, share that with you guys. <laughs> 
um if not uh then i'll see you maybe wednesday for watch work on wednesday but anyways i'm gonna hop off here and i'll see you guys in my video bye guys